Here's a great exercise for learning how to take a solo. It's called Sing What You Play. This will focus your playing, so instead of rambling on and on, you're going to be composing specific phrases. It's easy to do, and it's a ton of fun. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play a simple phrase that uses just two or three, maybe four notes at the most, and then singing it back. Here's an example. When I play, I am consciously making my ideas very simple so I can sing them back. Da, 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 da. I'm trying to match the pitch. I can sing it down an octave, but trying to match the pitch and the articulation. Da, 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 da. Da 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 da. Pause the video and play this game with yourself. Play four phrases and sing them back. Play this game every day and you're really gonna open up the channels. All right, are you having fun? What this does is it focuses your listening. It makes your soloing instantly more present. Instead of just rambling on and on, you're composing, you're listening carefully, and it becomes a much more meditative process. Let's play the game some more. Really try to make phrases that have rhythm. You can even put space into them. Really important to have space. Now, once you're comfortable with this, we can take this even further and we're going to right now. But before we do, if you're enjoying what you're seeing, please give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to click the subscribe button so you keep in the loop of all the content here at Ukulele Zen. And you can click the links down below if you're interested in joining the community where there's all kinds of bonus lessons and cool membership perks for you. Many thanks to everybody supporting this channel. What we're doing here is we're not trying to burn down the house with a million notes. We are trying to compose and get our mind, our heart, our body, and our instrument in unison. That is yoga. You know, yoga means union. As you practice in this way, you will start to tap into an infinite stream of creativity. Allow this process to be one that feels light, that feels happy, don't judge yourself, and be sure as you finish your phrases. To pay attention to what note you ended on, because the last note of your phrase has a lot of harmonic weight. I encourage you to do five phrases. Chances are you won't be able to stop at five, but right now pause the video and make five phrases and then sing them back. Here are a few more examples. Da, 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 da. Notice how I copy the slide. Da, 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 da. You could sing it down an octave. Do, 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 do. The idea is that you're having some fun singing back what you play, opening up the channels, and not just rambling, but instead composing, being intentional with what you play. So now let's do a little more work. Notice this time the attention we're gonna put into the silences in our phrases. Let me give you an example. Bottom, 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 da, da. Paying attention to the silence is powerful. It makes the whole process deeper and it means that you're giving more attention, more of your mojo into what you're playing. Right now, before you watch anything else, pause. Go to your instrument, play five phrases and sing them back, and be sure to include the corners of your mouth. Smiling creates an entire different state 
of how you feel when you play. Give yourself a big pat on the back for showing up and making music today. Not just thinking about making music or watching videos about making music, but sitting and getting your hands into it. Thanks so much for joining me.